check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. everybody I'm feeling a little chilly it's cold outside and guess I'm gonna make some chili I got like a, a 85% lean ground turkey no steroids no antibiotics and we're gonna make some chili Okay, I just uh, put the meat in the pan. And I'll just wait for it to uh, get the cooking. Okay, where's my top? It figures. Hold please, I gotta find the top. Hey, while I'm waiting on the meat to brown, I decided I got this giant box of Jiffy. I'm gonna make some cheesy cornbread. I got some Parmesan and I got some shredded cheddar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give me a hunk of butter. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. It's on the counter, the counter's clean. And yes, I washed my hands thoroughly. And I put a big hunk in my pan. I'm gonna heat that up. Cause not, not only is it for, you know, to lubricate, make sure it's nonstick. I put it in a casserole dish cause that's the way I choose to make it today. And I think it, you know, being that the pan is so nice and thick, It'll be nice and moist, I'm hoping. Cause I got some sour cream. I'm using almond milk, pinch of sugar. Cause I like my cornbread kind of sweet and I don't have any honey. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out where you can. All right, let's, let's let that butter melt and the meat get the browning. Hold on. So, I'm going to, put one and a half cups of this Jiffy. I always add a little bit of self-rising flour because I, I, I don't like my cornbread, real cornbready. I kind of like it bread. Well, anyway. Okay, that's a little under one. Just a hair more. Maybe, maybe I won't add it. Anyway, that is one and a half cups of the Jiffy Corn Meal. I got this big old box from Sam's Club and it was really like reasonable, like 250 or something. And you, when you look at those little boxes, they might be convenient, but you don't get that much. You get one use out of them. I get a lot of uses out of that. Okay, while I'm waiting on that, I got my Parmesan. I'm gonna add it all in there cause I kinda want it kinda cheesy this time. I know cheese kinda like makes it dense at times, but that's why I'm adding some sour cream. And I have uh, these little things of sour cream. They, you know, Ron must have went to Wendy's or something and brought home the little sour cream packets. And I'm gonna use them because otherwise they'll just be sitting in the refrigerator. Thank you, Wendy's. I have three of them. I'm gonna add those, that'll give it some moisture. And 
maybe a little tang flavor it as well. You know, sort of like a buttermilk. So, excuse me, I don't normally lick my fingers. All right, washed hands, sanitary hands. How about that? Okay, last one. So that should give it, you know, a little bit of a uh, little bit of moistness. Yuck! I'm making a mess, but I got it. It's all under control. Now well, let me get my egg. I didn't take the eggs out. Okay. Hold, please. Okay. I'm back. All right. While I was away, I cut up green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, celery, and onions. And I'm going to add that to my meat that's browning. I'll grab that. I didn't season it because I will season it all together. I kind of like to layer it, but that doesn't always happen. Because sometimes this, the chili mix is a little bit too salty. So in the meat bath they go i like my vegetables they have a little crunch to them so that's the reason why i wait until the meat is done I like to stir it up. All right. Simmer it down a little bit, just about a minute or two, just to make, make sure that they're hot. Turn that back on. In the meantime, my butter is melted for my cornbread. Just melted butter. All right. Hold on. Now for the cornbread. All right. Remember we have our cornbread mix in here, our sour cream, and our cheese. We have a little bit of Parmesan cheese in there. What we're going to do is we are going to put the milk in and the eggs. Got my eggs here. I think I'll use two, cause these aren't that big. They're kinda on the medium size. Cause I only picked up a little bit. I, I, you know, I am baffled by how people can, you know, um, Crack an egg and dis and get it out in this. Uh, I got a little bit of shell right here. Yuck! Don't want that crunch going on. I like crunch. Okay, got it. I don't know how they do it. They crack an egg with one hand, and in the same hand, they like are able to disperse the egg. I don't know how they do it. I can't crack an egg very well at all. I usually do it on the side of the counter or something, but ooh, <laughs> that don't always work either. So now I'm going to add the milk. That one cup. I don't know if I'm gonna need the whole thing, but I'm doing it. This is almond milk, unflavored. 
unsweetened. Rather than mess up other, you know, utensils like beaters and stuff. Normally I add um, a whole cup, so it should be enough. I forgot something. Forgot my little pinch of sugar. More than enough. Okay, you get it started before you put the, um, the hot butter in because you don't want the hot butter and the eggs to start, you know, frying. <laughs> That's crazy. Ow. I should have known that was hot, right? Not too bright. Okay, pouring the butter in. Sit that back on the count on the stove because it's a little warm. Okay, now I'm gonna beat up this mixture for the cornbread. Hopefully it'll be good. You can you never can tell. <laughs> Baking is interesting indeed, isn't it? But you don't have to do a lot and it doesn't have to be real thick and it doesn't have to be real watery. So let me grab my pan. Still got a little bit of butter in the bottom and that's what I want. So don't have to beat it to death. Just pour it in. Just as long as your ingredients are mixed up, you should be good to go. And remember I said I was gonna put some cheddar cheese. I got some sharp cheddar here that I'm just gonna put on the top and kind of swirl it in. It's finely, it's finely uh, shredded. Okay, just a handful to do a little something something you know I don't want it to you know get on the top and you know just sit there so I'm gonna kind of swirl it in and therefore there's a lot of little flavor here and there everywhere okay into the oven it goes then I can go back to my chili <sighs> always clean up while you're cooking some people don't, but I choose to because I don't want to be stuck in the kitchen forever. So while I am cooking, I'm going to clean up just a little bit, you know, at least to get the some of the dishes that I use, you know, to so organize mine, at least I hope it is. I found my carnival cup hmm, in the refrigerator with some cold coffee in it, and it wasn't mine. <sighs> Go figure. I share sometimes, but I'm, you know, here very territorial. Always have been. Always have been territorial. All right, my little mat, you know these little clear mats, clear, they came from the Dollar Tree, you get like two of them, well that was back when it was a dollar, it's not a dollar anymore, it's dollar twenty-five, but these things are so handy, I use one in the refrigerator for, um, so that stuff doesn't fall through. Alrighty. 
I gotta drain uh, my beans. I have a can of dark red kidney beans. I don't mind the, uh, the you know, the, the stuff that comes in the can, but I don't like a lot of it. And then I have a can of black beans. I drain those together. Now I just give it a, not even a quick rinse. I just let the juices fall out. Whatever's left in there, I use it. All right, it's almost time. Mm. All right, I'm back. And I believe my, oh, wrong eye. Dang, you know what, gross. Anyways, it's heating up real good. I got my beans. It look may look like a lot of beans, but beans are protein and they're good for you. So, I emptied the beans in there. Got my original Texas chili seasoning. And that's enough for four pounds. So it, I shouldn't, I usually use like two packs, but I shouldn't need two packs with this particular one because it's for four pounds and I'm not doing four pounds. Then I got my crushed tomatoes. I just use the Walmart brand. I like the crushed tomatoes cause I like there to be some, some chewiness, some tomatoes, not just mush. I don't like just mush. I like it to have a little bit of, you know, flavor, a little bit of, you know, you can taste the tomato and see it. So I got all this in here and I probably need to add a little water, but I'm going to wait to see. And we'll see what happens when we uh, let it get down and get cooking. All right. So the chili is done and I made some rice to go along with it. Let me fluff it up a little bit. I use Zatarain's rice because it is pretty much, I would say foolproof. I have yet to burn any of that. We like our chili over rice. So I myself a nice healthy bowl of rice. And I put the chili in here and cleaned the pan already. And it's really beefy. It's not beefy, it's ground turkey but it's got lots, lots of meat in there. Lots of veggies. And that's what we got for dinner tonight. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and please subscribe. We gotta grow our family. We love you.